Hey everybody, welcome to the 1111 Portal Readings, and I'm really excited about this reading, and I hope this blows your mind the way it did me. <laughs> because when I was looking into 1111, and I'm like, okay, well, 11 is the Justice card in the Standard Tarot, and I'm like, okay, that's cool, but I'm like, oh, you know what? Actually, originally it wasn't. Originally, it was the Strength card. Uh, uh, that was how it was traditionally, and then it changed over time, you know, people adjusted it. And you'll see here, you know, you've got the Strength card uh, being number eight, and the Justice card being number eight. So there is this beautiful awareness as I was looking into this. And bear with me, because uh, November 8th, here in the United States, is election day <laughs> and of course that has been bringing up a lot of controversy over the last couple years and bear with me on explaining the cards and the energies of where we're going with this and then we definitely will get into pulling um, cards for each individual zodiac sign but this is an important piece for you here because the justice card is the balancing out of small t truths and capital t truths you'll see they have the scales here and then they also have this ace of swords well the uh, scales are the balancing out of capital t truths which that ace of swords allows us to connect to the higher realms to those truths that are rooted in unconditional love and the small t truths as i call them are those that are rooted in the fear of losing conditional love of the human of the human opinion of all that outside world right and so that scale is balancing out those small t truths um, and it's being balanced by the capital T truce of the higher realm, which allows them to cut away the small T truce that no longer serve. Well, the strength card is almost similar in a way because it is about the lion being our human self that's searching for love in the outside world and it's become hangry because what it gets out there is not unconditional it is uh, temporary and doesn't fulfill us for long at all and so it's roaring in the jungle and then our higher self here indicated by the infinity symbol above her head comes down and brings to our human what it's been searching for all along. It's very convenient that our higher self is a powerful, supernatural, eternal being that is made of unconditional love. And I really like the way they present it here, this beautiful, angelic, you know, supernatural being coming down and loving on the human side. And so, you know, this allows us to balance our lives by bringing in truths that are related to unconditional love. And the strength card is about how we find this peace from uh, connecting to our higher self. So the combination of all these with that 11-8, <laughs> I love this, um, is all about becoming aware of the fears we have of losing conditional love in the outer world. And we do that by turning inward to find that ace of swords in the hand of our higher self. And that removes these thoughts and these beliefs that no longer serve us. And it also removes the things that divide us and it allows us to unite under that capital T truth that we are all unconditionally loved by the creator of all things. And we have access to love ourselves in that way, right? And then we're able to love others. Because if we can't love ourselves unconditionally, we can't love others that way either. And when we have ourselves under that long list of conditional love laws, conditions that we have in order to be, you know, loved and acceptable, by golly, we're going to keep everyone else under those laws too. I call it being God's little sheriff. I'm going to make sure everyone's doing what they should be doing and thinking the way they should be thinking, right? But when we free ourselves from those conditional love lies by embracing this unconditional love from above, we free everyone else in the world as well.
crazy, right? Especially around election time here. It's all about, no, this is the right. No, this is the right. This is the right candidate. No, this is. This is the right way to believe. No, this is. All the policies, all the stuff that's triggering everywhere. Beautiful portal opening up to help us with all of this. Now, the portal opens on November 11th uh, fully, but we'll start to be able to feel these energies beforehand. And uh, I love that the more of us that focus on unconditional love, the more it transforms the world. I saw this beautiful meme on Instagram that said something like, for each person that has this higher frequency of love vibration that they're putting out into the world, it counteracts 700,000 of those that have the lower vibrational fear energies that are going on. So if you imagine you sending out unconditional love into the world and me that's a million four hundred thousand uh individuals that we are helping uh you know transform that energy and the more of us that do it the more we impact the world and i just absolutely love that message so thank you for your patience as i was going through of all that we are going to pull a reading for the 1111 portal for your specific zodiac sign and we're just going to be asking where can we free ourselves from conditional love laws so we're going to jump into your reading right now all right taurus this is your 1111 portal reading and we're going to start off by pulling a card here from the power of surrender deck and any of the cards i use in a reading i do list in the description box below so if you're interested in any of them you know if any of them catch your eye you know where you can pick those up now we're also bringing in this beautiful pink quartz uh, stone here which is the heart energy of the higher heart the spirit heart and this beautiful selenite wand which represents the ace of wands or ace of swords that I mentioned in the intro so it's all about the balancing out here we're going to look over here first to see what the creator and spirit think you can you know free yourself from conditional love laws and then we'll balance out this is like the balancer right so that's one part of the scale and then we'll look at the other part of the scale that helps balance things out so we'll start here with the power of surrender let's see where you could be freed from in your conditional love laws all right so for our taurus what would you like them to know where can they find some freedom all right they do want this one right here and you've got the surrender to the wisdom of your body beautiful and it says listen to your body's messages about a person or a situation if you feel physically drained or uncomfortable be cautious if you're energized and happy move forward so the conditional love laws around this is about trusting your intuition trusting that you do have a connection to the spirit world that you do have this gift um, to be able to pick up on these things and to be able to use that uh, to help you in your life so i love that there's a fear around it um, and kind of worthiness around it and that this is going to transform for you so let's take a look here we're also going to look into the oracle of the seven energies and let's see what they would like you to know what can help balance this out for you all right so what for our taurus what would you like them to know what can help balance things out all right this is going to be the one right here and if i can pick it up willing release card number 49 and we'll put that down here and let's see what energy that brings in here for you 
And the energy around this is yielding to a divine plan, <laughs> releasing attachment to form, especially if something isn't what you expected or wanted, leaving room for serendipity. So really, this has a lot of that energy <laughs> of connecting to your higher power. And it says, some days you have to let go of your struggle to find an answer and focus on other things for a while. And this doesn't mean giving up altogether or losing anything, remember that in our co-creative partnership with the divine, give and take is necessary. You do your part by setting your intentions and taking any necessary actions, but you must then surrender the form, the timing, and the how to your higher power. <laughs> there is a divine plan for each of us, and when acting on this faith, you may find that your intense desire for something translates into feelings of attachment and entitlement. Right now, can you immerse yourself in this experience and allow the divine plan to unfold as it will on your behalf without interference? Can you be open to receiving what is yours even if it is not packaged in the form you thought you wanted? Perhaps if you look deeper, you will see that you've received the perfect vibrational match to your most authentic wants and needs. You have to put in the work to find uh, your desires and felt them deeply and engaged your higher power. <laughs> now you must let go and see what transpires. This isn't always easy. Impatience erodes the foundation of your trust in the divine. So surrendering truly will serve your highest good. Knowing this truth in your heart, can that really be so difficult? <laughs> I love it because this is about you trusting your connection to the higher realm, connecting and trusting that gut, in, gut instinct and those connections and messages you get from above and having action and doing movement on it and then allowing the how to unfold. So trusting the message, trusting that you're in great hands, you're co-partnering and co-creating your life with your higher power, with the creator, with source, whatever you believe that is. And it's transmuting this energy. It's allowing you to trust and make movement in your life and trust the timing of things too, that your life is unfolding for you and that things aren't happening to you, knowing that the universe is kind and that it is watching out for you and it has your greatest interest in mind. So this energy, instead of moving to fear and becoming small and not trusting it, we're going to move that energy and we're going to change it to where it's focusing on connecting to your higher power and trusting the process. So we're also going to pull here from the tarot and this deck is the true heart intuitive tarot <laughs> and we'll see what else they have for you taurus all right so what else would you like our taurus to know please all right i do want this one and this one they did want this one as well and this one and that one right there. All right. So let's see what else they'd like you to know here. You do have the Princess of Swords, which is the Page of Swords in the Standard Tarot. Swords are your thoughts, your beliefs, your mindsets, your attitudes, your expectations. And here in her hands is the Ace of Swords, which this is a movement and a change of your thoughts and beliefs connecting you to the capital T truths that are rooted in unconditional love and it's allowing you to cut away these thoughts and beliefs that have been limiting you about your worthiness um, and your ability to actually connect to the higher realms and uh, and belief in that. So I love that. <laughs> yep. Wheel of Fortune. So trusting. You have endings and new beginnings that are coming, but they're happening for you and not happening to you. There's this wonderful message with the Wheel of Fortune, which is about connecting um, to your higher self and knowing that before you came down here, your soul chose you first as its avatar to live its life through here, but that it also had all these faded events that it wanted you to experience and or wanted to experience life through you. Um, and 
But with each of those faded events, you still have the power to choose what story you apply to it, you know, which is all this thoughts and beliefs and mindsets and what emotion you want to feel as you go through it. And so you realize that your life is not this out of control drama train that's about to leap off the tracks and explode, you know, in a gorge, but that, uh, you know, there's so much organized and like I was saying, it's happening for you and you move seeing uh, you know that structure and um, everything with it that you are not um, you know at the whim of just things randomly happening but things happen on purpose for purpose and you move from a place feeling like life happens to you and that you're a victim of life to that life happens for you and you find your power um, through all that and then you have the Five of Cups. And the Five of Cups does tell you that, you know, we came here to experience all emotion and there's not bad emotion or good emotion, right emotion, wrong emotion, just different emotion. And the Five of Cups tells you that after you experience these disappointments in the outside world, which come from relationships and things um, and situations that eventually you have this realization of those two of cups that are behind her here that in each moment you get to choose what emotion you want to feel as you go through it and what story you apply so you got both the mental and the emotional choice that's coming in here showing you that you are so much more in control of your experience here than previously you were convinced of <laughs> Then you have the Prince of Discs, the Knight of Pentacles in the Standard Tarot. It is about movement in your outside world, but the horse, the knight here is, you know, it is slow moving. Um, and it does tell you that you change from the inside out, not the outside in. So this adjustment, this movement of energy that's happening inside of you, does take time to get out into the outside world, but trust that it will um, and just continue to do the inner uh, journey, the inner energy uh, movement and transformation, and you'll see your outside world change as well. Because you don't see the world as it is. We see the world as we are, and when we have our thoughts and beliefs and emotions, thinking it's a certain way, we see our world in a different way, and when we change it, the world changes too. And then you have, yeah, the Three of Swords. So this is the Expectations card, the heartbreak, the fears that we have had. And this is a wonderful revelation that comes in when we realize that our heart can never break, right? It's stone. It's like this. Our high heart is so powerful. It's eternal. It is perfect. It can, and it can't be damaged. It can't be hurt. What we experience when we experience heartache um, is actually fear. It's fear pricking our heart. It's like when someone goes boo and they scare you and you have that oh, in there, you know, that heartbreak feeling uh, is that fear feeling. And when you recognize it and go, wait a minute, it's the same, but why does it keep going? Well, it's because we keep looping a thought and belief around when a situation happens. This means I'm supposed to be heartbroken. We fear not being lovable. We fear not finding love again. Or we fear not getting a job again. Whatever it is, the fear, we keep looping it. And so we keep on having the, you know, pain. That's the heartache. It keeps looping the fear. It keeps looping the fear. But when you are able to move this energy, connect to that of the unconditional love of above, then we step out of fear and we take deep breaths and, and we realize oh, I don't have to feel this. My heart cannot be broken. And it transforms your approach in life. And then your final card for this reading, we're going to pull from the chakra reading cards. And this is going to represent what chakra can help you with the transference of the power or what chakra is impacted with this movement of power. So for our Taurus, what would you like them to know? What chakra? Okay, this will be the one. And you've got grounding. <laughs> Very much Earth Taurus energy. Grounding, grounding, grounding. So we'll put that right here. Card number four. And let's see what energy comes in with this one. 
yeah this is the earth star chakra which is normally like um, below our feet in the it connects us to the earth and it says you have attracted this card into your world today as a sign that it's time to get grounded you may have been feeling a little scattered with your thoughts and feelings and find it difficult to focus and concentrate Maybe you're feeling stressed and busy due to the many demands on you and are finding it difficult to create and manifest positive outcomes and experiences in your life. Know that you are not alone. This is a very common feeling and it's easy to get caught up in the whirlwind and craziness that surrounds you. There is a light at the end of the tunnel for you and the best thing for you right now is to get centered and grounded. The most powerful way to do this is to align with and reconnect to the beautiful Mother Earth. You're encouraged to take some time in nature, connecting and receiving the abundance of energy and magic that she has to share. This is the best medicine for your soul right now. You may like to spend some time at the beach, go for a walk in the bush, visit a lovely waterfall, or a favorite place in nature where you feel at peace. Sit on the land and feel yourself completely grounded and centered. And when you're grounded, you feel a deep connection to yourself and everything around you. And the affirmation for the card is, my energy is completely grounded into the healing energy of the earth. So beautiful connection to the divine feminine energy and also connecting to the higher realms. Um, there are wonderful grounding meditations where you have like roots that grow you know through down into earth and connect around her heart and then it goes and it goes to the heavens and connects up above so uh you know there's some beautiful grounding meditations and things out there to help with that too which i love with connecting to your higher power so i love this for you taurus if you are looking for more messages of love from above, in addition to these readings, I also put out weekly energy updates for each individual zodiac sign and also monthly readings for each individual zodiac sign and several other types of videos throughout the month. So if you don't want to miss out on any of those and get updated immediately when they become available, if you give this video a little thumbs up by clicking the like button and then also click the subscribe button will give you access to the notification bell when you go in there there is an all option if you select that one you'll be notified of any new videos that come out on the channel and two you'll be notified of when i go live on youtube to provide free readings i know i go live every single day providing readings and also twice on fridays saturdays and sundays on youtube so if you want to stop by and check it out say hello and see if i can get a free reading in there for you i'd love to see you and also doing all those things helps spread the zen love and it helps my channel grow in significant ways because when you like or share one of my videos comment on one of my videos um, and of course subscribe to the channel doing those things makes the youtube algorithm so happy it wants to automatically share my videos with other people as well so if you feel inspired to do any of those things please know i'm very very grateful for that also these are general readings if you're looking for more specific information and answers for your specific life i do offer personal readings all that information is listed in the description box of the video below all right taurus as you go through this stepping through this 1111 portal please know that every second of every day of your life that you are unconditionally loved by the mother and father of all things and of course i love you too have an amazing portal experience. We'll be talking soon, but in the meantime, you hang in there and you take care.